return and Jeremiah Masoli and the Ducks could be in business. They'll open with Masoli alone and now they bring it back back next to him. That read option Masoli with the first carry and the Trojans were certainly ready for that big Everson Griffin. Jeremiah Masoli defenders are in the box which predicates and de determines the call of the field. Masoli takes it back away from James. Can't gain much. And that's because Casey came up and made the tackle. One thing about this defensive line of the Trojans, they must tackle tonight in space. They know it, and already we have seen Casey here and Griffin earlier do just that. But now they face a third and one. Snap right back, and here comes Masoli for the first down. Close to midfield. They keep the tempo picked up. They keep the pressure on. And I like it. I think I think early in this game, you're trying to dictate the tempo, and you're trying to get this USC defense back on its heels. And I think this is a great, uh, great time by Chip Kelly and Jeremiah Masoli to go with this this style of offense. It's been pretty basic on the read option so far, involving just the one running back. And Masoli keeping it all away was uh, too far away from James. There was so much separation. The defense knew what was coming in. Casey with an easy stop on that one. I mean, exactly. I, it didn't seem to be Bo on that play. And uh, now keeping it is Masoli. Breaks a tackle in front of the Michael James. Against the Huskies. Masoli twice walked into the end zone on the zone read without anybody touching him. Keeps it again. Touchdown. Same play that he burned the Huskies with. A little blood on that forearm. Masoli will make the read right here on number 94. When you make this read, once he commits down, once he comes down, it makes it pretty easy for Masoli to make the read and be able to get up to the next level. The left guard, actually, Carson York, just blows up the linebacker, Malcolm Smith. So once he made the If they put it in overdrive, they are right in the mix. 317, first and 10. Masoli. Has time, receivers covered, and there he takes off, and does he burn the Trojan D? Looked like he was going out of bounds, and he just kept coming for more. All the way to the 31-yard line as the rain starts to come down. 49 yards on the run. But Masoli knew coming into this game his ability to create when things were covered would be a key tonight. Good job of showing patience. He waited in the last two games to Notre Dame and Oregon State with five touchdowns and no interceptions. And already tonight, they have given up a total of 211 yards, 136 on the ground. Masoli's got more. Takes that late pick into the red zone and knocked out of bounds. Taylor Mays, he's had to make the last two tackles. This is a great read. He comes off of 79's block right there. Mark Asper, and he reads it right away. His quickness and the fact that he didn't hesitate to carry the ball allowed him. Uh, the voters may be very impressed by what the Longhorns are doing in Stillwater, and uh, we will await that. And now it is first and 10 here for Masoli and the Ducks off that play fake. Now he's got a wide open alley. 35. Steps out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. It's exactly what Pete Carroll's primary concern was coming into this game. He even mentioned to Lisa Salters walking off. He said, hey, we're covering a lot of their stuff, but we have to stop Masoli's ability to create on broken plays. In fact, Dennis Dixon did the same thing. The perimeter within the offense. Second down and nine. And Masoli breaks into the red zone. Mays comes up and really pops it at the end of that run. Now this is the zone read here. He does a good job of being able to make the read, but look at the burst. Alabama takes the week off. And there's Masoli on the keeper. First and goal. This time, he's just going to cut right underneath Nick Perry with his quickness. Picks up a nice block there by Kaiser. Look, I that one up. George thought he was just going to wind it down nice and quietly. <laughs> right. And you send him quickly to the record books. He and Brian both both searching. And look at this. 
Masoli, and he's down close to the 10 yard line. This is a great read. The defensive end collapses down. And Masoli, how fitting for him to get to. Here's Masoli battling for yards. Because the one thing that you should be thinking about, and I dare say I guess he is right now,